Good morning from Simon from Life of Gamble. So let's take a chance. This is one of the four butterfly hinged uh, skylights on chance, which has been renovated. It's been sanded down reasonably well so far, but still needs a lot of work. All the places where the windows were in has been cleaned out as best as possible. It's a little bit more sanding to be done, but well on the way. And there's been a few repairs, such as this, which is where someone put a galvanised nail through the hatch, rather than fix down the hatch with the clips inside, they transported it with some nails, nailed in through the wood. Not a very good thing to do. No. There's where some of the old fixings were broken off. We'll have to carry it and take them out and plug the hole again. Same that side. Moving along, a couple of holes there for the rails, and yet another hole has been plugged up with a teak plug, where so we put another nail through the framework. Silly people, but this is what happens when boats get neglected over the years. And that's the inside of the hatch. Still needs a good rubbing down and copious amounts of varnish put on until we can put it all back together again there's the hatch stay which has been put in multiple places over the years there's another lot of plugs to be made filled up and then done ag then done again later on but that's just one of the hatches there are four more to do here are another two of them just need a reasonable amount of work done to them just a bit of glue to be put in the splits to stop them getting longer but apart from that they're fine so there's a bit of TLC a bit of sanding a bit of filling but all in all not bad condition at all so the same things true of these they're all nice and clean apart from the low one which hasn't been done yet it will be done shortly but anyway I know and I said before more holes where people have been knocking nails galvanized nails through the hatch frame rather than using the catches and there's another one another plug being put in where it had to be put in moving on to the chart table it's now been given one coat of varnish to seal the surface the staining is part of its life. It's been sanded down to get rid of the grayness that had been covered over as it's been faded over the years, but it was thought that better to leave some of the age marks in it, otherwise it would look too new and be out of place with the restored boat. Same with the doors, or the drawers, should I say. They've all been sanded down, given a cut of varnish, as is the frame. and. The side panel you can see it's quite a sizable panel it had a split in it which has been glued together again and stabilized so that's that bit done moving round to the lower locker door that's been carefully glued together sanded most of the marks taken out but not all of them as it would look wrong if you took them all out. It's a restoration, not a new build. So some marks from its age have to be left in to show that it's actually been just sanded down, not completely renovated, which would spoil the pattern of the woodwork completely. Simon from Life of Gamma, let's take a chance. As you've seen from the updates the last couple of days have been working quite extensively on the cockpit chart table which has now got a first coat of finned varnish on it making it look a lot better than it has done for many many years the drawers have been drawer fronts have been varnished and sanded down as is the chart table top lower drawer locker door and the side panel it down the this is part of the companionway into the aft cabin area of the boat so 
that's that bit done I've started to do some work on the uh, butterfly hinged hatches for the main cabin they've been sanded down lightly so far need a good another few more sanding down to get rid of any age marks and little knocks before it, they are renovated where gaps have appeared in the glue joints and there's been nicks and dinks out of it everywhere and where the hatch stays have been put in several different times different places which now will have to have the holes plugged up with teak plugs and then re uh, glued with new plugs and then the hatch stays will be re once again in the original position that will be done over the next few days when I've got spare time after doing my day job as a boat builder on other people's boats but it's the May Day bank holiday weekend and rather than going out enjoying myself I'm down the boat yard working on challenges parts with my son who at the moment is just out getting some things for us but in the meantime we've had a few jobs to do here and we're cracking on doing some more and see you later if you'd like to and subscribe to my channel by all means do so you can also go onto my patreon page chart restoration underscore 1948 if you'd like to subscribe to my uh, patreon page and donate a small but meaningful donations will be happily accepted and gratefully received so for further updates i always try and put out a video once a week if not once a fortnight usually on a saturday afternoon or sunday and if you'd like to watch these videos by all means do so i also have a youtube channel a blogger page a page on facebook on twitter and on linkedin so you can find me anywhere you like whichever way you like to see you can so until later, goodbye for now.